Namaste. Morning. The body and all that is created keep evolving. We're not static. So can the body transform into light? Yes. Yeah. Even in this practice of yoga at first, yeah, the mind resists the change because the body would just like to remain steady, yeah, motionless. Yeah. And then once we awaken yeah, the energy within us, yeah, we move on to the next level which is still physical, but now we gain the discipline because we enjoy the benefit of the practice on the physical level. Yeah. So the asana part, the pranayama part, mobility, yeah. maintaining our physical health, wellness, and our mental well-being, they become essential part of us. So that's the raja state. Yeah the state of our energy awareness. Yeah. But it doesn't stop there. Yeah. Many years into the practice, yeah, your brain awakens and the silent centers, they awaken. And these are the centers of um, deep spirituality. And still, yeah, the body will be involved, the breath will be involved, but now it's not too physical anymore. Uh, so you will be using the physical body as a preparatory yeah, tool yeah, to open the inner pathway. But we devote more time on what? Yeah, the energetic practices, for example, of pranayama, yeah, mudras, chanting, yeah, visualization, meditation. And, and even like praying, reading scriptures. Yeah because they all are inspiring, and then you will understand the essence of the text you know, from a more real life sense, because you've been experiencing them already. Good. And then this is um, now where we need to assess our practice, because we can't uh, be doing all of them. You know, who has the time? That's one. And then second, once the higher centers awaken, the inner body will awaken too. And you might notice that the elements you used to enjoy before, they don't serve you anymore, physically, mentally. Yeah. And this comes with age, definitely. Our body can only handle much. All right. So are we losing our physical gains if we decide to let go and then do them just sparingly or you know, decrease the intensity of our practice, the physical intensity, and focus more on the energetic and meditative sides? No. Once you have it, you always have it. But the way you access you know, the gains, you attain the practice of the lower centers, it's more internal. Yes. So because you're using that internal awareness you have to awaken more inner centers. Right? And it's now where you feel the involvement of the head, yeah, the tongue, the mouth, and even the eyes. Yes. Because the higher centers, the head. Yeah. At first, um, they're not... Uh, active enough to feel the connection between the higher centers and the lower centers. But when the inner brain opens, yeah, you'll be able to access yeah, the potential of the tongue, the mouth, and even the gums, and the eyes, yeah, and the optic nerves and the muscles too. So how can you now plan the program yeah. When you are at this stage already, that yeah, you feel that you're transitioning, but you're in a crossroad. Yeah. How can I let go of the physical practices, which definitely is, are essential yeah, for us to keep the health and the wellness of our body, and at the same time, yeah, enjoy yeah, and accept 
yeah, the transition we go through. All right. So asanas will always be part of your practice. And what are the asanas now I recommend for this uh, transition? All right. Sitting asanas. Now, sitting asanas are energetically beneficial. Yeah. Cross leg sitting asana, sukhasana, or any asana, you know, your level suits you. Yeah, even if you're an advanced practitioner, even if you can do Padmasana, you can't be doing Padmasana every day. So sometimes you need to uh, modify yeah, so you can sustain the practice longer. All right. And for example, 